The Canon XO7 from 1983 was often sold in a bundle with this plotter, which looks more like a paper roll printer, but isn't, which is okay because the computer itself looks more like a pocket calculator, well not very pocket handheld as it says, but it actually says handheld computer and it's more, more like that in fact. It is programmable in BASIC, which in itself uh, was usual enough for programmable calculators too, and it does have a, a bunch of uh, mathematical and Greek style characters here, but this is just an overlay that comes off, and uh, there were different ones for other markets, like uh, to print Cyrillic characters, for example. You can see from the screen turning on that the computer itself is pretty slow and I have stored in memory three programs which are going to take a long time even to just display. The computer runs on two AA batteries while the calculator has its own uh, nickel cadmium battery and currently I have it plugged in although my battery is still relatively able to hold the charge. It has uh, four pens, black, green, blue and red, and this is clever because it doubles uh, as uh, the um, paper holder here, I have another, you can barely see. The programs I have saved here are just three simple th things, two of which are example programs, very short, from the manual. This is black and white, but it's going to print in color, and uh, these two. They are both uh, text mode characters, uh, text mode character programs. This one looks more like a graphical one, but in fact it's, it, it's, uh, it's just printing this letter can in various sizes and colors. There is a print test here, you can probably not see well, but I'll make another, and uh, it's important to point out that the plotter mechanism is out, which was uh, very common in other machines of the year or two, like Commodore and Atari and Casio made some, so that made uh, this kind of plotter less expensive than you might imagine for something like this in 1983. You see the, the paper goes up and down, so the trick that makes this a, a printer looking plotter is the fact that the pen holding cartridge moves horizontally while the paper moves vertically and the combination lets you print uh, lines and stuff in all directions. Although it doesn't print circles, and uh, other versions of the firmware al allow that in other computers I mentioned uh, to the point that the print test here is completely different and prints squares and, so and circles and other fancier stuff than just this uh, mini version of the character set with uh, four colors and also, well, I have a problem with the black cartridge. I have uh, three of them here, but none, none has any ink left. While green and blue work okay, and red not so much. So let's go down, fed, fed, feed the paper a little, and let's run the first program, which is on line 100, so that's why I go to 100. And it's going to print it, as I said, in uh, various colors, which is not going to look great considering that the four cartridges, uh, some work, some don't, so it's going to look a bit messy, as you already can see, hopefully well enough.
The second program demonstrates something that was useful useful in uh, with uh, having uh, the way this was conceived in mind that is a kind of graphing calculator because you you will see that it can print text vertically well you already did see that in the manual but anyway and uh, I'm going to change the, change, the, change the color first because that's not part of the program but if I don't <clears throat> I think it's going to print in black which is barely visible so I'll use the command I'll print square bracket uh, size which doesn't really matter in this case and number two which identifies the green pen so here it goes and changes around the inks now go to 200 we'll start that particular program and it's printing Canon in green in a relatively big size in all directions which as I was saying is useful if you are going to print graphs uh, for like naming the vertical axis and things like that the third program is the only one uh, in graphics mode I will list it from line 300 to show uh, actually 400 to show what it looks like roughly I have to be pretty fast in stopping it if I want to show it in a way that can be understood well it, the line that just went away printed character 18 in decimal and that's uh, uh, the magic trick that makes it go from text mode into graphics mode the other commands here set a line type of 9 this means that I want a dotted line line type 0 is the only continuous line type while from 1 onwards until 15 I think it's uh, progressively larger strikes of the pen while this is uh, again a color number 2 although in graphics mode this is done in a slightly different way and then from line 430 it actually prints a simple a simple pair of lines using the parameters I specified so go to 400 mm, seems to have a bit of a problem so I will reset it it does that sometimes again go to 400 mm, without the minus well yeah I printed this line I messed up a bit compared to what I wanted to print I think like I wanted a uh, um, diagonal line so let's reset again and uh, figure out my maths with uh, the x and y axis uh, I said it was a 430 the line that printed yeah mm, let's try from I'm actually just doing this at random mm. see it did print a few vertical lines here in uh, the dotted uh, pattern but they don't look very interesting I wanted a diagonal line too again go to 400 are you done? can I go on? yeah see now I don't know why it doesn't let me okay you see there is a, a diagonal line as well as a, an horizontal one which is the first part of the command movements are relative in uh, the D command so the first two coordinates are where I want to end the line the first line first segment anyway and then the second one and so on starting from 
in this case zero zero although it could have been a different home location let's try perhaps another short line in a different uh, color and a different uh, line pattern just to show whoops uh, typing random random numbers just in the hope of having skewed the round lines of, or something and uh, 420 was the color so let's change it to uh, what was it one two three, one probably was the other working color so that's that would be blue but I'm not entirely sure and uh, let's try a smaller line pattern actually let's try like three which is pretty small and will do something interesting in a sense uh, and perhaps if I can waste a bit of paper changing color and then <laughs> see it makes a lot of noise when it's printing dotted lines like this with small uh, segments and it makes uh, an even stronger noise uh, if I make if I make uh, it the minimum size let's try although it will barely look like it's dotted at all it's practically a continuous line at this point well that was fun. Um, there are much better examples of this on the internet with like fancy spirograph like um, drawings which I cannot really do or at least be bothered to do with uh, this uh, keyboard and slightly, slightly clunky programming style. So that's it. Hopefully my battery still lasts long so I can perhaps make another example of this later this one I just have to remember not to melt the battery inside by leaving it on, on on batteries forever while this one really should be charged every once in a while because the internal battery is nickel cadmium and special proprietary and so on it can be replaced but it's not easy to find another one if you if, if you're right